The sign on the elevator in a 10-story building states that the weight cannot exceed 1,400 pounds. Your job requires you to move a shipment of books from the bottom floor to the sixth floor. Each box of books weighs 48 pounds. Write an inequality that satisfies the situation in which you will move the most amount of boxes possible in each trip in the elevator. Be sure to define the variable used and your weight. Let's just assume your weight is 175 pounds. And now we need a variable for the number of boxes. Let's use the variable b. So b equals the number of boxes. And now let's set up the inequality. Your weight, which is 175 pounds, plus the weight of the boxes, which is going to be 48 pounds times the number of boxes, or 48 times b, or plus 48b, cannot exceed 1,400 pounds, which means it can weigh exactly 1,400 pounds or less, which gives us 175 plus 48b less than or equal to 1,400. Next, we're asked to solve the inequality and interpret the meaning. So beginning with the given inequality, we need to solve the inequality. We solve an inequality just like we solve an equation, except if we multiply or divide by a negative in the process, we must reverse the inequality. The first step is to isolate the variable term. To isolate 48b, we need to undo this positive 175 by subtracting 175 on both sides of the inequality. Simplifying, this difference is zero, which is why we subtracted 175 on both sides. The left side simplifies to 48b, less than or equal to on the right side, 1,400 minus 175 is 1,225. The next step is to multiply or divide to isolate the variable and solve the inequality. 48b means 48 times b. To undo this multiplication, we divide both sides by 48. Simplifying 48 divided by 48 is equal to one. One times b is b. b is less than or equal to this quotient here. Let's find the quotient here on the side. We have 1,225 divided by 48. Remember, b is a number of boxes, which means b has to be a whole number. To begin dividing, we first ask how many 48s in 122, which is two. Two times 48 is 96, and we subtract. Here we perform an exchange. 12 minus six is six, 11 minus nine is two. 26 is less than 48. We know the two is correct in the quotient. Next step is bring the five down, and now determine how many 48s in 265 which I believe is five. Now we multiply five and 48. Five times eight is 40. Perform an exchange with the four. Five times four is 20, plus four is 24. And we subtract. The difference here is 25, which is less than 48, so the five is correct. Notice how the quotient does have a remainder. The quotient is 25 with the remainder of 25. Regardless of the remainder though, we cannot round the number of boxes up to 26, because if we do, the total weight is going to be greater than 1,400 pounds, which means we'll have to round down or round B to 25. So because we have an application problem here, we will say B must be less than or equal to 25. We also know B, the number of boxes, must be greater than or equal to zero, again, because of the application. But to answer the question, you want to move the most amount of boxes possible in each trip, which means the greatest value of b that satisfies inequality is when b is 25. You can move at most 25 boxes at a time in the elevator. And of course, this also assumes you are also in the elevator each time. I hope you found this helpful.